good enough for me, I'm Martin McGee. Can we call ourselves the elderly brothers? Partly because we're old, we're elderly, yeah. and we're mistaken very often for brothers. Yeah. Oh, man. Is, uh, it ranges from country through pop, from the, the 50s onward, we, we, up to about Beatles level, you know, Beatles era. But we tend to um, lean more towards uh, country and western music, really, mm -hmm. such these days. Music with a country feel, yeah. uh, just easy listening. Yeah. But I have not been known as the saints of San Joaquin, and I just assume right now. Pull on over to the side of the road And I'll show you what I mean But what we just love playing because we've played for, for years, ever since I learned to play the guitar at 14, and I don't know when, well, we used to be a drummer before. Yes. So you can tell now when he plays the guitar where he gets his influences from. Yes, that's right. he plays his guitar more like a drum than a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about being knockabout musicians, I, I think, I don't think it was Waylon Jennings who did a song, We're Ragged But We're Right. With, and that's, that sums Trevor and I up, we're ragged but we're right, but not all the notes are, they're all there but they're not necessarily in the right order. order. But um, it, 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 it's a wonderful thing to be able to play for people and just to, to watch the reaction and get the feedback. Is that right? So you adrenaline, know, yeah. An adrenaline rush that you get from having an audience puts you on your metal. Yeah. And people say, you know, before a, a performance, uh, do you have butterflies? Well. If you don't have butterflies, you don't put on a, a good performance. That's, That's the way true. we look at it. Yeah, really. yes. you, yeah, you get, especially if there are people in the audience that you know, mm. and um, you're not quite sure whether they're, they're there just because they're your friends. Yeah, well, well, we also like to know which direction the bottles are coming from. <laughs> <laughs> That's useful sometimes. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Find yourself standing on the corner, you had a cup, you got a go, you got the We meet quite a lot of interesting people on our travels and in particular when we stayed at the rectory on the lake uh, yesterday we met a Welsh harpist and we had a jam session with That's her. That's right. Yeah. I didn't think it could be done, I didn't think no. guitars We've... and uh, harps went together in modern music but apparently they do. You may travel far and wide, far and wide to sign, let you raise your glass and drink a toast. The rectory on the lake, all the friends you make. At the rectory, the place we love the most. At the rectory, the place we love the most. On Telus Lane. At the rectory, the place we love the most. We sat there and we just had a little jam together. It was she played some tunes and we backed her up. Mm -hmm. We sang and she did, did the, the, the the highlights and the twiddly bits. Mm -hmm. And it was it was it was quite enchanting, really. It was a lovely afternoon. It's almost it was as if, just yeah. totally unexpected. It's almost as if we're going on a different sort of direction in our lives at the moment. We started off, you know, as a duo. We've gone to a trio with a bass guitar, and now we might possibly include a harp in the <laughs> ensemble. The way things are going. Oh, I don't know. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing left was all she left. I don't think we'll ever give up. Um, we may slow down, but before
before we slow down, we've got to speed up a little bit first because oh, yeah. we, we're now Trevor's going to be fully retired. Um, we are going to put some more time in, and, and in the winter, summers we'll go caravans, boating. Winters we'll be playing music for many years to come. Then somewhere near Salinas, the Lord, I let her slip away, looking for the home that I hope she'd find, and I trade all my tomorrows for a single. Yesterday, holding Bobby's body next to mine. 